Give me two coffees, one black, one regular. You got it. $1.75, dollars $1.25. Empty out the register, pal! You think I'm playing? GSW left upper thorax, copious blood loss. Gave him two liters in root vitals. BP 70, pal, pulse is ready. GCS 5, response to pain. What does that mean? He's been shot from the blood loss. Bullet hit an artery. We've got to get him to the OR. Captain Cragen, is it true Detective Tutuella shot an unarmed kid? No comment. Come on, you've got two dead boys and only one gun was found. Did he kill no an innocent comment. bystander? We're looking to make this a bad shoot. Press is saying one of the kids was unarmed. Tell me they're wrong. Don't know yet. We recovered this Mac 10. Funk number one over there emptied the clip. You know, Finn's lucky he wasn't a better shot. Where's the other shooter's gun? Can't find one. I'm waiting for ballistics, but based on the angle of entry, I'm pretty sure Finn shot him. There's no way Finn would shoot an unarmed kid. He had to have been packing. That's why I did a gunshot residue test on his hands. And? The kid didn't fire a gun. First shooter took out the counterman. Then Finn shoots the little son of a bitch. Then he clips Finn. Watch the second guy. Finn waited until he drew down. I enhanced the tape. Watch his hand as he falls. Now the gun flies over the freezer case. I'm gonna call Ellie and tell him where to find the gun. Grab the tape and follow me. I'm gonna share this with the press. Keep me updated. Yes, sir. He shot that man in the bodega before I could even pull my gun. Store had a security camera. You did everything by the book. I shot two kids. Who were gonna kill you? and you saved an innocent child. Hey, can I have your autograph, Mr. Hero Cop? Got him, buddy. Hey, really, it's good to have you back, man. Department surgeon said you could take the week. I'm not staying. I just need to get some things out of my desk, and I want to show my face. Please, I know this guy. I've seen him before. You can't go in there. I know. He's no hero. He's a dirty cop. Ma'am, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I am not going anywhere till I speak to someone in charge. I'm Captain Cragen. Can I help you? The detective in the paper? I want to make a complaint about him. I remember you. I could never forget your face. I just didn't know your name until today. You Trisha's mother. I wanted my daughter back home where she belonged, not living with that drug dealer. I was working undercover. Look, you put that pistol here and said, leave, bitch, before I kill you. I had no choice. Oh, yes, you did. When I was working narcotics, it was all about getting the dope off the street. We bust any strung out skeleton men getting to the guys in the top. There were no victims, just dealers and users. Well, what happened with Sandra's daughter? I was undercover. The target was a coke dealer named Vance Dennis. I worked my way up to bodyguard. His girlfriend was a young kid from Yonkers. Trisha Knowles. Was she a runaway? Yeah, but she was 18 and she didn't want to go home. Had herself a nasty coke habit, too. So one day, Trisha's mother shows up and wants to see her daughter. Vance orders me to make moms go away. Well, you couldn't blow your cover. I never felt right about it. Not a trace of Trisha Knowles in the system, but your pal Vance Dennis was easy to find. He's an addict at doing a hard 20. When did he go down? Last year, narcotics raided his place and found 20 keys of uncut coke. Remember Trisha Knowles? Vance Dennis's junkie girlfriend. You flip her. After we pulled you out, the case went dead. Until Trisha got picked up mewling coke in the JFK. He knows she turned him in? Probably guessed. You give her any kind of relocation or protection? But Trisha didn't want it, said she was going back home. Well, she did. I guess she changed her mind. The girl risked her life for you, and you left her out there all alone. Damn, Finn. Working in SVU's made you soft. You think everyone's a victim? Trisha Knowles was a cokehead. She ratted out her boyfriend. She made her choices. She got to live with him. Trisha knows put Vance away. We owe her. I want to help, but I don't have the resources to put a team on a missing witness because her mother laid a guilt trip on you. Look, I know Vance. He didn't have to come right out and say it. I got the message. He killed Trisha. Bring me proof. I can make something happen. What happened to Vance's crew after he got locked up? The Murphy twins are peddling X to the club kids downtown, and uh, Fat Tony's selling a little H for the Morrow brothers. If Vance reached out to anyone to put that hit on Trisha, it'd be those psycho Murphy boys. 
Well, I know where they hang. Let's pick them up. No, no, no. They too loyal. They never talk. Now, Fat Tony, he can't stop talking. Vance knew Trisha gave him up to you guys, so he sent the Murphy twins to pay her a little visit. They kill her? The way I hear, they took her into that abandoned building on St. Nick's Terrace and gave her a hot shot. Some crackhead found a body, and you all thought it was just another junkie OD. Why didn't it even tell me? There was no way to identify your daughter's body. We didn't know it was Trisha till today. Well, then how can you be sure? You may be this informant lied to you. We retained the personal effects found with the body. Do you recognize this? There's something else. Trisha's autopsy report noted a recent scar, partially healed, from a C-section. There's nothing I can do to fix what happened to Trisha, but if I can find her little boy... Turn it over to missing persons. Can't do that, Captain. And I can't have you out there cowboying it up. What all. am I supposed to tell Trisha's moms? I'm sorry I got your daughter killed. By the way, you have a grandson, but I don't know where he is. You're too close to this. I turned my back on Trisha once. I'm not going to do it again. When did she quit? She did. She left early one day last spring and never came back. She sent her roommate to pick up the baby. Austin was here? Every day. My mother watched the kids. She lives upstairs. Lizzie Jones. Trisha asked me to hire her, but it didn't work out. She was nasty to the customers, short of the busboys on tips. I think maybe she was high. You let an addict take the baby? She was Trisha's best friend. Before Trisha died, she had a baby. A child. Yeah, he'd be about one years old right now. His name is Austin. Where is he? We think Lizzie may have him. Please, you've got to find him. I will. Why the hell did you tell that woman you'd find her grandchild? I got a good feeling about this. Now, what you've got is post-shooting trauma. We studied in my police psych course at John Jay. After a fatal, guys sometimes feel guilty. Did you ever kill somebody? When you do, I'll let you tell me how I feel. She used to work the program, but she backslid. Still came here to cop. From who? Crazy Jim. She don't need me no more. She got herself his new boyfriend. Dealer by the name of TD. TD Beeman. A couple of possession collars, one for sale. Did a nickel upstate. This place is a dump. You surprised? I'm surprised he's got a pole can. Back door doesn't look locked. We'll take a quick peek, see if we see anything inside. Trip whack! Claymores were set on top of these gas cans. Made sure the place would burn. I know why. Check this out. Cold pills. Yep and matchbooks. You need both to cook crystal meth. Well, that explains the pole cams and the booby traps. Meth makes you paranoid. Cold pills contain pseudoephedrine. That's the main ingredient in meth. The FDA limits the sale of pseudoephedrine to one box per customer. So meth cooks have to shoplift from lots of stores. So that's why I needed a girlfriend who's a booster. This Liz. Lizzie. Who the hell are you? Where's the baby? What baby? Austin knows Trisha's baby. I don't know. That's Trisha. She's dead. You sold her out to Vance. What do you give you? A couple grams of crack for your best friend's life? I didn't do it! You Get off me! You want to kill yourself, you go right ahead, but you are not going to take that little boy down with you. Now tell me where he is. It's Paula's daycare. There's got to be kids in there. You better get him out before TD starts cooking. Could be cooking already, man. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Come on. Smell that? TD's cooking. I'm telling all of the kids have been exposed to those chemicals. They're going to need medical treatment. Yarita, where the hell is that fish? All of a sudden, I'm going to kick Lizzie's ass if she's not back here in five minutes. Please, don't move! Put the pot down and step away from the stove. You ain't going to shoot me. You want to bet? If you do... This whole place will go up like a Roman candle. I don't care about the drugs or you. I just want Austin. What's the kid got to do with you? I know his mother. Trisha's dead. I know. Back off! This stuff will melt your face off. Just give me the baby and I'll leave. No, that's not how it's going to go. Me and this kid, we're walking out of here. I can't let that happen. Yeah, how are you going to stop me? Hmm? Sit down. Yeah. Right. Captain! Hey, Captain Craigan! Hey, ma'am, please. Captain! It's okay. It's okay. I got this, Ms. Knowles. This area is off limits. You can't come in here. But Detective Tola called. He found Austin. Finn! Look, there's Grandma. Look, look. 